Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to talk to you about the security flaws in the App Store. And I'm asking you right now, do you think that your personal information uh, is in good hands with Apple or is it really easily accessible uh, from app developers? So we're going to talk about that in this video. So the App Store launched uh, three years ago and since then there has been millions and millions and billions of downloads worldwide. Now let me just show you a study that four researchers made, uh, researchers from uh, Austria, United States and from France and they gathered th some information about data, uh, personal data information leaks from uh, the Apple Store. So these researchers built a tool called PIOS and this tool uh, analyzed personal data leaks. So what happened is when you download an application and this application takes some of your information without your knowledge, uh, well this uh, PIOS is able to detect this type of data loss or data leaks. The researchers gathered uh, 1,407 apps. That's 825 free apps from the Apple Store and 526 apps from Big Boss on Cydia. Those uh, apps from Big Boss are, aren't uh, App Store uh, certified, so they're not certified by Apple. Now the results from the study are very, very interesting. Concerning data leaks with the device ID, that's your UDID, your unique device identifier, the Apple Store had 170 leaks on 825 application, that's 21% of uh, leaks and compared to Cydia, only 25 applications on 526 apps, that's only 4%, that's 17% less leaks than on the Apple certified applications. Uh, same thing for the locations, only um, one uh, city application on 526, that's 0.2% compared to 35 uh, uh, application that leaked, that's 4% for the Apple Store uh, certified applications. And as you can see, the other results are pretty much the same. And uh, that's really shocking. So this means that uh, your Cydia application, your normal, your uh, typical Cydia uh, application tend to less leak personal information, your personal information to the uh, app developers than the uh, Apple Store applications, certified applications by Apple. But why does this happen? I mean, it doesn't make really sense. You're, uh, you're getting application from the Apple Store and you get more data leaks. Your information goes more to uh, app developers than from non-certified Apple um, applications made from random people. So what I probably think is that uh, Jay Freeman, the creator of Cydia, is a lot more conscious of what happens on his Cydia. On his Cydia. Um, the thing is, uh, he controls a little bit what happens, but people who download Cydia applications are probably a lot more conscious of data information and data leaks. So I don't think that uh, Jay Freeman would let uh, developers create like mal malware application that stealed uh, your personal information. On my personal opinion, I think that the reason for that is probably that the Cydia community and the jailbreak community is less focused on profit and less money driven. Now there are two applications that you can download on a Cydia that will protect your personal information. There is a privacy made by Jay Freeman that lets you opt out of this um, data collection and it war the application warns you when uh, it happens and you can simply opt out, say no I won't give this information to uh, the app developers. And there is also contact privacy uh, from Ryan Petrich. And this application doesn't have any icon or anything, it just works, it just lets you know when uh, application try to uh, access your personal information and it warns you and it lets you accept or uh, lets you decline the personal information uh, access. So now you know what to say to friends that ask you, is jailbreaking uh, safe? Is jailbreaking uh, alright? Will it break your phone? Uh, is it safe? Well, now you may say that data-wise, uh, jailbreaking and jailbreaking, jailbroken applications are probably a lot safer uh, data-wise than the regular certified Apple 
applications. So please post your comments and your personal thoughts in the comment section down below and I will post the research in the description of this video. And don't be shy to share this video to everyone. It's always good to be uh, well informed and I think that everybody should know that a lot of their personal information may be leaked to uh, Apple uh, developers, to app developers by Apple or by uh, any independent uh, app developer. So thanks a lot guys for listening, uh, have a great day and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook and subscribe uh, on YouTube. Have a great day everyone.